All right, as for the Ravens, picked up a couple of receivers for Lamar Jackson, including first-round pick Rashad Bateman out of Minnesota. Ryan, how are you evaluating Baltimore's 2021 draft? Well, you touched on it. They need a wide receiver help. They got wide receiver Rashad Bateman in the first round, and they circle back and got another wide receiver that I'll talk about in a second. They need help along the edge in round uh, later in round one, their second first round pick. They got Owe out of Penn State, so they are addressing the needs they have. Rashad Bateman there wearing number 13. This is 2019 because in 2020 he wore number zero, and he wasn't quite the same guy he was in 19. He had COVID over the summer. I think that affected his play. He lost some weight. He is going to be great in Baltimore. I know that Jamie and the fantasy guys are concerned about his targets, but that's not something John Harbour or Lamar Jackson is worried about. They also got Tylen Wallace out of Oklahoma State who doesn't test fast and doesn't run necessarily as a burner, but he is a contested catch warrior. He makes tough catch after tough catch. He plays much bigger than his size. And finally, I'll mention Sean Wade there in the fifth round. There was first round buzz on Sean Wade 12 months ago, uh, and his season did not go as he had hoped. He'll probably have to move back inside the slot where he was better in 2019, maybe even have to move to safety. But if there's any organization, Emory, that could get the most out of Sean Wade, it's going to be the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, and that's why I gave them a B-plus because when you look at what the Ravens did, they took guys that they feel as though, hey, we can develop. Odafe Owe, a guy that had no sacks. Usually that's not a Ravens pick, but they love the athleticism, they love the potential, and they could develop him. They do a good job with edge rushers. Brandon Stevens was a tremendous tailback at UCLA, transferred to SMU because he wanted to go all in on being in the secondary and playing corner, which he did really well for the Mustangs. And when you look at Tylen Wallace, I think he's the replacement eventually for Willie Sneed. Dependable, reliable, clutch, can make big plays. I was shocked that he was only six feet 190 because he played like he was 6'4", 230. So they got the help for Lamar Jackson on a perimeter with Bateman like Ryan talked about, but top to bottom, this was a really good draft for Baltimore. And Ben Cleveland is legitimately out of a you know, comic book as far as how he's built and how he plays. He's going to be a plug-and-play guy for the Ravens in that run game. Speaking of Cleveland, uh, Emery Hunt and Ryan Wilson giving Cleveland the highest grade combined, both giving them A's. Uh, how about that? Uh, Steelers won the division last season, but there were three playoff teams in this division, Baltimore, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. Uh, as you take a look here at the win totals and the odds to win the division, the Ravens are the favorites right now at plus 115, followed by Cleveland at plus 155, and Pittsburgh at plus 380, Cincinnati at plus 2400. Perhaps they will make some sort of improvement from a poor win season one year ago, getting Jamar Chase. Their win total set at six and a half in 2021. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.